All right, guys, let's see how we can run different versions of PHP inside of our Ubuntu without the need to have them installed directly on our system. And probably you guessed right, we will use Docker for this. So here I have one directory with several files. Let's say we'll create one index file uh, with nano index.php and here we'll just echo the current PHP version we're using. Let's take a look at the Docker file. So basically we are uh, choosing from the PHP 7.3 image and it's a CLI version. Inside of the container we'll enter into varvv HTML and we'll start the PHP uh, server on port 8080. This is all done inside of the container. Also we have a Docker Compose file uh, where we'll be creating a service PHP from within the current directory where our index PHP resides. We'll be mounting uh, this uh, volume inside of the containers var vv HTML. Also we'll be exposing uh, port 8080 for us to be able to browse it. Uh, what's the benefit of this uh, method is that we can always change here the versions of PHP we would like to use inside of the uh, Docker file. Uh, so, for example, if you go uh, in uh, Docker Hub and here if we go to PHP and then Tags, uh, we see that uh, we can browse between different uh, uh, tags and uh, versions of uh, PHP. If we go in the history, we see PHP version 7.2 etc etc so we just uh, copy this uh, line uh, directly from the uh, docker hub and we'll replace it here inside of our docker file and we are ready to go by the way the, just to show you uh, something here on this ubuntu system we're using php 7.4 so whenever we are running things from our docker container they'll run uh, with the php version 7.3 Let's see how we can do this. So basically we'll be running docker compose up and then build. And we see that we cannot connect right now to the docker daemon. We'll fix this by using uh, system control and we'll reset and restart the uh, docker daemon. Uh, so system control, uh, restart uh, docker service. And uh, if we check out the status, of docker service we'll see that now it will be running and active and that's what we want to see uh, so let's repeat the command uh, docker compose up build this already fetched our image uh, created our container and run uh, the php cli inside if uh, you have uh, gone through this and everything is uh, done you should be able uh, to browse the container on port 8080 Let's do this now. So here we'll browse local host. And as you can see, this is uh, from within our Docker. Uh, the current version we're using is 7.3. All right, guys, uh, if you would like to stop uh, this container, we're just stopping it normally with Control C. That's how you can have a flexible environment using Docker containers for your uh, development. I hope you enjoyed the information and if you like the tutorial, you can subscribe to the channel.